This one, the first phase up to where we turned back, everything goes according to plan and I hope it will go according to plan. By September it will be finished. Then the last phase of this road, from there now to Okahanja, that one will have to be at an appropriate time by the capable people in the Roads Authority and in the Minister of Works and Transport. It will be opened up the next phase in terms of, you know, advertisements and tenders and what have you. But I want to emphasize one point, that is the Procurement Act. I cannot blame the Act. The Act is a good Act. It has been put there. I was part of it in the Parliament to facilitate progress, not to stifle progress. If you read the Procurement Act, it also makes provision for the empowerment of Namibians also. Transfer of skills to Namibians is in there. But I would like to urge the members of the Namibian Public Procurement Board. Yes, follow the law, but don't become a slave of the law in terms of unnecessary bureaucratic bottlenecks. And at the end of the day, a project that was supposed to be finished, for example, in two years, takes up to 24 years, I mean, up to four years. Why? Because we take too long in just pushing papers. So it's also important for the members of the Public Procurement Board. They should also physically go and look at where is this project. For example, here, this Okahanja uh, Vintuk Road infrastructure or the, the, the Vintuk Airport. All these are very important projects. Don't just wait for the papers. They should come out of their offices also to familiarize themselves, to talk to people who are involved, so that when now the final decision is taken for them in terms of awarding tenders, they don't only rely on what is on the, on the, on the, in the books. That one is very, very important. 